thanks for the introduction, Spencer. Uh, like you said, I'm Kaylee. I'm a 2019 intern, and I'm loving my summer so far. So today for enrichment, we are scheduled for watermelons for all of the bears. Uh, so we had these nice, beautiful watermelons Kim and I cut in half earlier today. And we wanted to spice things up a little bit and make the bears work a little harder for all the treats. And so uh, we had, yeah, I've actually cut some little holes in the room the watermelon uh, and shoving some different uh, shelled nuts in there so the bears have to work on that rind to get the goodies out of there as well. Uh, I'm really curious to see how this goes. Since I've been here, uh, we've got duck cut into and so today we're actually cutting them in. I think with the boards it was a little easier for them to get all the meat out of the watermelon but today they're going to have to eat it kind of like a bowl uh, and I'm really excited to see how that goes. Ted is still getting some treats from Spencer uh, before he starts working on his watermelon. He's looking around at all the people in blue vests to make sure there's no other treats coming his way. <laughs> and now he's making his way over to the watermelon. Uh, his back and bum are towards me, so I'm going to have to rely on some tell me what is happening. What Our visitors have just come outside and now are in front of Ted's enclosure. Uh, getting excited to see him eat the watermelon. Now, bears eat watermelons a little differently than us. Uh, obviously, that's in a bowl shape. It's not bothering Ted one bit. He is going right to town. Uh, we usually have to use our hands for a watermelon. Bears also use their paws. So usually, Ted and our bears kind of hold whatever food item on the ground in between their paws and eat from there to hold it steady and make sure it doesn't get dirty. And he is going to town. People are pretty intrigued by this. Oh, he's getting comfy now. <laughs> really excited to see what he's going to do with that rind and see if they'll work to get the nuts out of that. Hot dog. So just got her watermelon and she is going to town on that. Holly is just about, oh, just got her watermelon. She was a little impatient. She's wishing Derek would move a little bit faster. They're on their way up to give Lucky his watermelon. So it'll be interesting to see who finishes the quickest. My and Holly, but I think she'll usually leave a couple behind. And then I think for the cleanest bowl board, that will go to Ted. He doesn't crap behind, and I'm the same way with my. So it looks like they're all very focused, uh, which we love to see. So part of these daily enrichments uh, is not only the tasty treat, which we know they love. We're also some different types of stimulus. Uh, so they are cooped up in their small enclosures while construction is happening. Uh, we don't need to build the pond. The construction workers can do that on their own. So while they're in here, they're not getting quite as much as normal. So that's why we're giving them these little quote-unquote puzzles to solve. Uh, they're having all the food out. And they're having to use their bricks a different way. Uh, little cubes uh, shoved full of goodies that they have to turn and maneuver to get all the stuff out. And physically and mentally stimulated. Right now our guests at the center are a little taken aback by the chipmunks. <laughs> our chipmunks have gotten extremely bold lately. Uh, just started climbing up people's shoes and legs uh, in search for peanuts. So heads up to all of our guests out here. You might make a new chipmunk friend. Uh, but we're coming back to our enrichment with the bears. Oh, Ted is doing a great job with his bowl. I still don't have the best view his rump is towards me, but it looks like he's finished just like a bowl of soup. And there's not much left. it. I was expecting it to be warmer for this late in June. Well, watermelon. You're not really needing that cool. We do have their ponds, or not their ponds, their little individual water bins uh, full and ready for them to use if it does get warmer today. They still have their winter coats on, which is why they still look like puff balls. Uh, but for each of them, you can start to see a little bit of brown tufts kind of poking through that uh, beautiful silky black fur. And so they're going to start shedding that winter coat. You'll see them scratching a bit more, trying to get that extra fur off. Either with their back feet, they'll be scratching on a tree or just kind of rolling on the ground. Let's get hot outside our can take a nice dip in there. Uh, it's crucial for bears to be around water, especially with this heat. 
they need to pull off their undersides and their chest. That's where they have the least amount of hair, and that's where they can stay nice and cool. Oh, Ted is now. Oh, going back to watermelon. He was done. He is still working on it. Now, usually he's done fairly quick. This is taking him a bit longer today, which we're excited about. Now, when we do puzzles and enrichment, every bear is a little different. Ted gets frustrated, <laughs> and so if puzzle or uh, activity is too difficult, uh, he gets a little frustrated, and <laughs> he can't get it immediately. So he can have, you know, super intense, uh, but the watermelon is keeping him nice and stimulated. Holly really prefers balls, so we have these bear-proof uh, kind of get it on her claw and throw it around her enclosure. She does all of this while reclining in her broken water bowl. Finding lots of entertainment for everyone here, especially as interns every day. She's doing something new and hysterical. Holly does like the cubes. Uh, she does puzzles with those. She's very food though right now. She's coming out of estrus, so I'm sure she's going to love this watermelon. And it looks like from my view, she might be working pretty well on that. I don't know if anyone is solving the puzzles of the peanuts in the rinds yet. Derek is giving me a slight nod. Maybe they're starting to work on that. <laughs> and then Lucky is a little similar to Ted. He doesn't like to work too hard for his food. Uh, Lucky is our sleepy bear, and he'd really prefer to do all these puzzles while laying in his den, quote, unquote, his bed. Holly got up from your activity right now to go check out the back of her enclosure. She's a little more touch and go, I think, with her activities. That doesn't hold her attention for too long. She and Tasha both like to start it, go adventure around a bit, and then come back to it. Oh, Ted might be done with his watermelon. Oh, there is barely any pink left inside. He has done a great job uh, scooping out all that delicious watermelon uh, juice and meat. <laughs> and now he's looking to all of our visitors, asking them where are his treats. <laughs> Do any of our visitors out here have any questions? So we're noticing that they leave the rinds behind. Um, is it Holly? Either Holly or Tasha will do will sometimes eat the rind. Um, otherwise, they do leave it alone. There's not as much nutritional value, and it's just not as tasty, I suppose. Ted did not really attempt to get the peanuts in the rind. That must have been a little bit too much of a difficult uh, activity for him. He is looking at our guests, uh, wondering why they're not giving him peanuts. <laughs> oh, I just got an update from Derek on how lucky he is doing another pastel, and I don't have eyes on him right now. Apparently, first got his watermelon. He rolled it in his cedar chips. Uh-oh, that's not good for Lucky. He is our picky eater. Uh, and so I'm assuming all the cedar chips stuck to that kind of sticky watermelon. Uh, and I heard he was being very delicate and picky on what bites he would take. I'm assuming he didn't want to eat those cedar chips. I imagine they don't taste as good as watermelon. He's probably having a rough afternoon up there. <laughs> uh, maybe Derek will have to go in and scrape off some of the cedar chips more. And now, Ted has been doing this today. He is having a ball today. He has been picking up this little piece of bark and holding it in his mouth and just shaking his head around. Uh, he's been very playful today. But I guess he's too tuckered out right now. If the camera, oh, the camera's not checking him out, but he just flopped over um, and is sniffing around him. Whatever is in front of him does not smell that good. He had to give it a little hop at it. And he's going after this piece of bark again. This is his new toy of the day. It is amazing to see how easily bears can play with anything around them, or even nothing around them. I've seen it. It's just like showing how universal creatures. Uh, usually Ted is not our most... He enjoys a nice nap or a little walkabout. Not too much activity, whereas Tasha is our most playful, uh, sitting in that recliner and just being a goofball. But today, uh, Ted must be feeling his oats, and he's uh, playing with this beautiful little tiny bark of wood that I think he's broken by now. <laughs> Our guests are very intrigued to look at Tasha. I'm assuming Tasha is doing something pretty cute in the back. I'm getting a head nod from Rebecca. That's a yes. Uh, and Ted right here is just too tired to get up, but he would like to move around a bit. 
So this is an awesome day for our bears. It's not too hot. There is no rain. We have some class, slight breeze, weather for them, and even our guests here at the Bear Center. Uh, but those darn mosquitoes are out. The mosquitoes, thankfully, can't really bug the bears too much with that thick, thick uh, fur they have on them. They really can't get all the way to their skin. I'm reminded by that every time Tasha rubs her back up on the fence. Uh, you see all of her fur poking out, and it goes for inches, and I forget how far away her skin actually is from the surface. Well, I don't think our guests have any questions right now. They're all very intrigued by what Tasha is doing. And I might have to go check that out myself. <laughs> um, I don't think our camera can see it. She's doing it behind her little house. Uh, but I'm sure people will post pictures and give you updates on what she is doing today. So thank you for all of our visitors for visiting the North American Bear Center. Just remember that your uh, wristband will get you a dollar off admission at the International Wolf Center, an amazing organization that we love to support. Your wristbands also get you in all day until 6 p.m. So if you'd like to go explore Ely a bit and grab a bite to eat, you're more than welcome to come on back and keep enjoying our bears and learning about black bears. Uh, thank you to all of our online listeners, visitors for tuning in today and listening to uh, our little broadcast. I'm thinking that, that you had a good time watching Ted eat his watermelon today. Uh, we'll be back again at 4.30 for dinner time. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon.